In today's episode, which is part 3 of the hybrid electric bike, we are going to control the speed of electric bike automatically using the GY-521 MPU6050, 6 degrees of freedom, 3 axis gyroscope and accelerometer module. The MPU6050 module can be fixed on the helmet or on the jacket and then depending on the angle, the speed can be increased or decreased automatically. Remember, in part 2 I used this variable resistor for controlling the speed. In part 3, this variable resistor is used to activate and deactivate the automatic speed control system. When the value is less than 100, the automatic speed control system is deactivated. When the value is greater than 100, then the automatic speed control system is activated and the MPU6050 module can be used to control the speed. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a biometric student attendance system and save the records in a database whether a particular student is present late or absent. This is a complete wireless system. The transmitter and receiver side has no physical connection. The computer application is designed in Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. In this project two Arduinos are used. One is the transmitter which is connected with a fingerprint module and the other one is the receiver which is connected with the laptop. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT-based patient monitoring system using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, Arduino, HC-05 Bluetooth module, and cell phone applications. This is an advanced level project and is entirely different from all the existing patient monitoring systems available on YouTube. As you can see in this project, two different cell phone applications are used for monitoring the patient temperature and BPM. With the help of this application, the patient BPM, temperature and centigrade and Fahrenheit with two decimal points precision can be monitored from anywhere around the world. With the help of this application, doctor can monitor the patient in real time from anywhere. So far, the internet connection is available. While this application can be used by the family members to wirelessly monitor the patient temperature and BPM. I have a separate video on the Android cell phone application designing for the Bluetooth module. I will provide a link in the description. This project is designed in a way that it can be easily modified by anyone and most sensors can be interfaced. To accommodate most sensors, I'm using Arduino and Node MCU. ESP8266 Wi-Fi module together. In this episode, you will learn how to accurately measure the water volume using the water flow sensor, Arduino and a 12 volt DC water pump. Working on the water flow sensor is a bit tricky and that's the reason most of the people complain about the wrong values. There are things that we need to take care of while using the water flow sensor. As per the data sheet, when water flows through the rotor, rotor rolls. Its speed changes with different rate of flow. If we can keep the pressure and flow constant, we can make an accurate water volume measurement system. I solved this problem by using a 12 volt water pump. As you can see, each time I press the push button, I get the same water flow and pressure. In this episode, I will also explain what's inside this water flow sensor and how it works. I will also explain the complete circuit diagram, making and Arduino programming.
In today's episode, you will learn how to control a robot car wirelessly using Arduino, L298 in motor driver, a flex sensor or pin sensor, and 433 MHz RF transmitter and receiver. In this project, the flex sensor will be used as the accelerator, while the joystick will be used for controlling the forward, reverse, left and right movements. The motor speed can be controlled in real time as we close and open the hand. The robot control system can be activated and deactivated using the built-in joystick push button. Once the control system is activated, then the flex sensor and joystick together can be used to control the robot car. Straight fingers means zero acceleration, so even if you move the joystick, the motors won't rotate. But as you start bending the flex sensor, the motors start rotating. Then depending on the amount of the bend, the motor speed can be controlled in real time. This is a prototype model of the image processing based forest fire detection system using Visual Basic .NET, Arduino and a K-type thermocouple. I have this small demonstration video which I recorded a long time ago. The circuit diagram, Arduino programming, Visual Basic application programming and thesis can be downloaded from our website. You can find a link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to control a 5-inch TFT HMI touchscreen wirelessly using HC05 or HC06 Bluetooth module and an Android cell phone. This is a dual control system. The relays can be controlled using the HMI touchscreen and can also be controlled using your Android cell phone. Any load which is turned on using the HMI touchscreen can be turned off using the cell phone application and any load which is turned on using the Android cell phone application can also be turned off using the HMI TFT touchscreen. With the help of this project you can also monitor the sensor values on the screen and also in the application. This project is entirely based on my previous three tutorials. A few days back my friend Tanya cut her hand and it triggered my mind to make something for hands protection. I'm going to dedicate this project to Tanya. You know my friends in industries usually the hands accidents happen when the hands come in contact with the moving part, which results in heavy injuries, amputations and deaths. These accidents can be minimized by designing special type of electronic gloves which can turn off the machine when a hand comes in contact with the moving part. In today's episode you will learn how to make an electronic glove based on the magnetic Hall effect sensor, Arduino and 433 MHz radio frequency modules to protect workers from coming into contact with the moving parts or getting caught in the machinery. For the demonstration purposes I am using two indicator lamps when the workers get too close to the moving part, the machine turns off and an alarm is activated which is represented by the yellow indicator lamp. This is just a prototype model which can be further improved by designing some very small size Hall effect sensors. We can also include some pressure sensors and the device can be made hidden inside the gloves. Using such gloves we can perform ordinary tasks without any problem as these gloves are completely wireless. In today's episode you will learn how to reduce distracted driving accidents using only Arduino, MPU6050 and a buzzer. If a driver writes a message and looks down for more than 2 seconds 
the buzzer is activated. So if the driver looks down or looks up for more than two seconds, a buzzer is activated which alerts the driver. This project can also be used as the driver drowsiness detection system. This is just a prototype model which can be further improved by designing a PCB. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT-based water quality monitoring system using Arduino, pH sensor, Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, and Blink application. This is an IoT, Internet of Things based project. The water quality can be monitored from anywhere around the world. In this episode, I will practically explain how to measure the pH value of the real water. And I will also explain whether the water under test is good or bad for health. In this tutorial, you will also learn how to use the 16 into 2 LCD widget in the Blink application.